Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Sergeant Neutral Plays Survival Chaos. We are playing as the Blood Elves. Let's roll the dice, see what we get. And that is going to be six. So we are going to get some Phoenix eggs. Not a bad bonus, not my absolute favorite, but not a bad one. So we're going to be go sending good luck, have fun to everybody. We're up against the Torns, the Demons, and there was one more that I had just missed, but I'm sure we'll be finding it out. Goldmine up here. Nothing down there, so hopefully they will be leaving us a little bit more alone in that case. And the Drane. Okay. So, all that seems to be going pretty well. P minus 12 once again. Uh, plus 5% evasion, minus 20% spell cooldown, and all this stuff. They are very, very weak early game, but boy howdy do they pick up aggressively in the late game. I'm just looking to see if there's any real difference here. Uh, so far, not really here at all. They all seem to be pretty much just as is, which is fine. I thought the Blood Elves were definitely one of the better balanced units in the game. So, Wind Totem Warrior. Okay, so that's the Tier 1 bonus, so we are going to have to be very careful about that. The Demons are across from us, so I would like to try and pressure them ever so slightly. So we are going to have to probably tier 1 this, just get them out of our way as fast as we possibly can. And then we're just going to be turtling. As always, as we've been talking about many, many, many times, the key to Blood Elf victory is Blood Elf patience. So, here we are, I think, yeah, throwing in to the barracks, because I don't know if we're necessarily going to be able to... Yeah, okay, and so they also have a tier 1 replacement. We still don't know what the bonus is for the demons, but that should, you know, hopefully not be too, too concerning all the, later down the line. But let's see how this all goes. Okay, so we finally got enough. And the Drane push looks a little less intimidating than the blood, I mean, the Torin push. But unfortunately, we've gotten kind of double got here by pretty bad uh, spawns. But I think we should be okay. Alright, so that's like 8, maybe 10. And then here we've got 1, 2, 3. We've got 11 here. Okay. So first thing I'm going to be doing here is just nuking these guys. Then we'll throw out one or two here because that should be handled. I'm okay with taking, once again, just a little bit of damage. Not too, too much, but just a little bit so that we're able to kind of, at the very least, throw them back ever so slightly. I want to immediately start building up some economy because I don't expect us to be picking up any of these neutral buildings, at least not right away. Yeah, and they're doing really, really well here, the Drane. They've got an excellent kind of, like, little defensive setup here. One, zero. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage. But luckily, we got a little bit of armor there. Then I think, frankly, we're probably going to be picking up Mana Pool for the defense. And luckily, we are actually, we actually do have a pretty significant presence in the middle, which makes me very happy, which means we should be able to get, I think what we probably want to do first is get some more to one zero. We'll just take a few hits. We got a little bit more mana torrent, so now let's get some steel armor. And some probably basic steel weapons. Because I want to be at least 2-1 before we start thinking about upgrading or going tier 2 or anything like that. And we're actually fair... We're actually far more present in the middle than I thought. Unfortunately, with this little push in, our time is most likely going to be coming to an end here. Yeah, they're 4-0. and zero. That's expected in terms of making that just that much more problematic for us. I 
I don't think I need to repair just yet. Let's get some more damage going. Because these Tauren are just too strong for us at the moment. Especially with Spirit Link, it's just that much more difficult for us to handle. But luckily, with our towers right here, we should be able to push them out quite comfortably. And we are actually very, very lucky the Tauren aren't coming into us. <laughs> So something tells me this will be charging into us. Either way, I think we are going to have to level this up, if nothing else, to try and get this gold mine. And actually, he's not going into us, and that is extremely good news. And frankly, if they just ignore us for a little bit, I don't mind kind of playing the fool for the moment. If we can get to tier three, tier two here, maybe get Kael'thas out here. And and to me, once again, get the aura and most importantly, you know, we can get Spellbreaker, Arcane Aura, Mana Shield, kind of get into those bonuses, then I think we might have a real, real shot at turning this around. Okay, so he's pushing in from the other side. That's fine. They're three and one. We're two and one. So we are definitely the weakest race in the game at the moment, at least on the field. But with 13, 17... Okay, now he's coming into us. Yeah, we've got... We, we can't ignore that. So that means we are just going to kind of push everything back a little bit, but we should be okay. Zero. Okay, we're taking a little bit of damage, not too, too much. And good, we, we intercepted what I wanted to intercept, which was to take away that gold from them. Once again, it's only 75 gold. It's not a huge amount of gold, but it certainly is something there. I just want to get rid of them because I know that's going to be a problem if we let them kind of do their thing. Three, two, one. Blood Trips has lost the upper barracks to the Torin. Okay. <laughs> Blood Trips has uh, been defeated. So now, unfortunately, that's left us in a very difficult position. Because now we're going to have some pretty unrestrained attention from everybody. Luckily, that's going to really tell everyone to calm down for a second. Let's pick this up so we can repair in, a, in an, an actual sustainable way. Then I would like to get the improved steel armor. There it is. And good, we're holding there and we're actually going to have a nice push going through. And they're four and two and we're going to be three and two. So once again, not exactly a winning combination, but not exactly a losing one either. And apart from Luffy... We're all at roughly, well, when I say all, uh, the two other people are roughly at the same level in terms of gold. So that gives us a little bit of hope. Now we're going to sit back and get our, um, our basically, tier two. And once we can get the tier two, then we will be able to hopefully really start throwing down some law here. And this is going to be a nice, solid push by the time we arrive. If 
frankly, if it takes long enough, we might actually have Arcane Aura up, which would not be bad. We've captured that neutral building. Excellent. Just a little more gold for us. And once again, our towers are doing good work right now. They're keeping the enemy un ha at a very reasonable level here. 1369, 1402. Come on, just give us that sweet, sweet 1500 now. Oh, come on, three gold. There it is. Okay, now, uh, I mean, I think they're going to be getting probably a pretty decent spawn here. We're still chunking them, though. Not bad. Okay, so we finally got the Arcane Sanctum. I'd say the first thing that we want to do is pick up... Um, Brilliance Aura, I just always think, is so, so much better. He lost his right barracks. We'll see if he... Sti nope. As always. Bit of a shame. And now it's just us versus the Tauren. And the Tauren, unfortunately, are going Tier 3 here, so we are going to have to kind of deal with that very, very rapidly. And they've got a lot of gold on their hands, so let's kind of see how we're able to pull this off. And I think instead of spending 1,500, I'd rather just spend 1,000 on Kael'thas. Four, three, they're three, two. Okay, so at no point is this kind of like an insurmountable amount of danger. And now that now we've got some arcane aura coming out. Good, 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 good. Oh, he's gone straight up tier four into us. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> we go send her out just to keep them a little bit further away from us. And now I think behind all of this, oh. Yeah, so that just didn't quite... I, I was really hoping our front line would be able to hold a little longer than it did, but it wasn't. Yeah, there were certainly better ways for me to handle that, but unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it now. All I can really do at the moment is just make sure that... Because I will be able to afford tier 3 here pretty soon. Fortunately, with Lady Leodrin gone, it's just going to be an absolute slaughter here. Kael'thas is pushing quite hard. Yeah, Lady Leodrin just got absolutely murdered. Okay, good. That wiped them out as well, so we'll repair this. And 
they're still pushing, so I'm going to go tier 3 here. And now we finally have some phoenixes that are going to be able to show up. And we're still pushing quite nicely on this little front. And I think what we're probably going to need to get first is some more Arcane Aura. Because what is this? A Vorpal Missiles. It's not great. It's really not what I would call fantastic or particularly helpful. Kael'thas hitting them from an angle there. Respect. We'll just let him hit just a little bit there. They're six and three, their frontline units, but that's okay. Let's get some basic mithril weapons. And while we are waiting for that, let's also get some spell breakers. So that way they can kind of get rid of some of the buffs that the uh, Tauren are so fond of using. Okay, we've got to figure out something to do about this front here. And the good news is we are going to be 5-3, and three, which is decent, if nothing else. It's not great. For sure it's not great, but it's decent. <clears throat> okay, and he's gone tier 4 against us there, so we are going to have to address that pretty much as fast as we possibly can. They are 8-3 and three in terms of damage. Well, in terms of upgrades, at the very least. I stand ready. Okay, yeah, we've got to just send her out. Because this, we're still pushing very slowly, but slow is kind of what we want. <clears throat> And we've got the spell breakers, which are going to help all of our fronts pretty nicely. And then with Lady Leodrin going down this front, we're not going to need any more help. So we might be slowly but surely pulling this out here. We'll see. Pick that up. Three, we're five and three. That's pushing. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out how exactly we want to prioritize all this. going to want to try and get maximum gold here. So he's already tier... Oh no, he's only tier 2. Okay. Doing some good aggro shuffling. I wish we could get a spell or something down here. Okay, 
it was a little late for that, my friend, if I'm being honest. Uh, not, not ideal. Okay, that's not bad at all. Okay, unfortunately, Lorthramar just went down. Okay, but they're pushing in as well as they can. Okay. Repair that. That's three, that's four. Okay. So it's only 700 gold ahead of me. And five research. Okay. This is this is a surmountable difficulty. It's it, it's 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 an unpleasant difficulty, but it's surmountable. Okay, so since we can't really afford to <clears throat> research anything in this main sanctum, because, uh, let's try and sneak elven masonry in there. Okay, no sense in building that. If Kael'thas could die right here, that'd be really great for us. Come on, Kael'thas. Oh, there's no way Kael'thas is going to die. Okay, but the good news is we are going to be getting the elven masonry in, so we're going to be getting a, a little bit, a trickle more gold. I'm going to pop this. And then that should be enough. Now we're gonna go tier four over here, and now we can finally settle back in and hope our, the name of the game right now is gonna be just really try and go for end game. Because we, if we, if we can even out and keep holding on in terms of the. Our endgame differentiation, we're better endgame than the Tauren are. But the thing is, we have to survive the endgame. <laughs> survive to get to the endgame. Once again, it's only been like 22 minutes. This has been a very, very quick game, all things considered. But already the mana is helping us out. That should be under control. There we'll send uh, probably Lorthramar into the mid. Because that's tier 4. Yeah, okay, so we did make it to tier 4. Essence Drain could be helpful. that we can just kind of let them do their thing now just yeet a little guy in there deal a good amount of damage okay that wasn't too bad at all okay good and now we can finally get back to upgrading our units and whatnot The good news is we are starting to hurt their ability to kind of um, aggro shuffle. And anything that can get uh, just like, it, it's 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 kind of the, the game of inch by inch here. We're, we're, we're fighting for inches. Just tiny little things here, there, 
to really kind of just give us any and all advantages that we can get because we need it. We need these advantages. Okay, that's going to be a big push, but hopefully we should be in good enough shape to deal with that when it arrives. Okay, improved. So at the very least, I want to be 5-5 five, five before I start thinking of other upgrades. Our heroes are really putting their teams on their back, and I think we will be picking up Blood Sacrifice, knowing that they are going to be, that heroes are essentially going to be a critical part of our potential victory here. Great, we've got a thousand, and then I think I would, I think it's time for us to start getting some blood magic, because we end up having a huge amount of backline here. <coughs> and Lord Thurmar's taking some beatings, that's for sure, but he's still holding. He's still holding as about as well as we can expect him to be. So we're, we've got 1,500. Once again, I'm just kind of saving up money, just kind of letting it stock, stack up and up and up and up and up. Because hopefully we'll be able to go to Tier 3 and really kind of access some of these older, um, s some of these higher level magic. Okay, he's gone Tier 4 into us down there, noted. And sin rate's already going to be a nice AoE for us to have. Because apart from Bovan, they don't have any heals. And the Torin Tower upgrades are not as helpful as ours. They're just not. So our goal is to get like 3,500 here. And this is where, once again, Incinerate or something would be so, so helpful. But we're just going to kind of have to get it when we can. Here we'll just have to send Kael'thas down. Repair that. Let's hit them here. Great. Two one zero. We're back. Kael'thas against a tier four. Not even. Not even worried. <clears throat> and there's the tier 2 I was waiting for. Once again, if we can just destroy a building or something, get it down low. I was really hoping that would land a little bit sooner, but you know, we can't we can't complain. We can't cry over spilt milk here. All right, so now we're gonna be picking this up. There's our blood sacrifice, which is very, very helpful. He's going tier three, noted. How is our hero economy, Lady Leodrin? Good. Good, good, good. And we have Inthul in the situation now, which we enjoy. And already Incinerate's helping us out in a big way. 
We want to save up for about 2,000 gold here because it looks like they might be landing at roughly the same time. Okay. <sighs> Got to stay real, real focused here. Imbued blood magic is certainly going to be something that we want as fast as possible, but I think what we're going to have to deal with right now is probably I want to send Lady Leodrin out this direction and Lord Thramar out this way. Four, three, two. Oh, we're going to get bad spawns here, ladies and gentlemen. Good lord. have to let him hold until these guys land. Lady Leodrin. Lady Leodrin, that was not... Okay. Focus Cairn. Them shift around a little bit. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, we lost that salvage, but that's okay. Because this means we should be able to get Enthul out. As long as we don't lose this barracks, we're okay. Oh! Oh my god, I was staring at it, but I thought, I thought we were safe! Okay, um... Alright, alright, alright. You know, this certainly isn't great. Oh, I don't think we're done. Really wish Lady Leodrin had, had not betrayed us so blatantly. Let's get this imbued blood magic. And then I think what we're gonna do here is pick this up because we have a huge amount of our dear, sweet uh, Phoenix friends there. I'm gonna pick up incinerating arrows. Okay. Okay, good. That's a very nice push that we're getting there. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. Unfortunately, we're all kind of converging at the same time, which is going to hurt our ability to really set things up, or at the very least kind of lull them into a false sense of security. Yep, there's Iron Tusk. Good news is Iron Tusk is taking a hell of a lot of damage. 
Kael'thas is coming up, taking up the rear. There's the tier two. His aggro shuffling is a little too good for me to do much there. But if we can kill Iron Tusk, we might have a shot at this. Because we're already murdering Bane. Comfortably. There goes Iron Tusk. Okay, our AoEs are kicking in as much as they can. Now we've got Blood Sacrifice, but will it be enough? I, I, might, I don't know if it will be, actually. Um, killed Bane Bloodhoof again. Now let's try and see... Let's try that. I'm gonna go here. We're gonna hit repair. Yeah, and Thule is down. The only one that might still be able to really hold the line here is Kael'thas. Let's get some more mana shields. It's not a huge push. I'm okay with that push. What I'm not okay with is just the fact that Kael'thas is taking all this damage. If he goes that direction, that's actually A-OK -okay with me. Yeah, OK, fine. Yeah, <clears throat> go ahead. Because I'll just have Smite ready for him, basically. Doesn't feel good, but it's kind of what I have to do. <laughs> Just gonna have to give up that tower. Send Lady Leodrin up that direction. Because we need Kael'thas over here. Oh! Well, interesting, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what a weird, bizarre game this was. But. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't, please dislike and let me know what I can do better in the comments down below. But hey, this is Sergeant Neutral, wishing you guys a very happy rest of your day.